Hello, this is a video about conducting a test for independence, calculating the degrees of freedom. You intend to conduct the test for independence for a contingency table with seven categories in the column variable and five categories in the row variable. You collect data from 1,112 subjects. What are the degrees of freedom of the test? For a test for independence, the degrees of freedom will always be number of rows minus one times number of columns minus one. <clears throat> Since there are seven column variables, that means the number of columns is seven. Since there are five row variables, the number of rows or R is equal to five. <clears throat> so calculate five minus one times seven minus one. Calculate four times six, which gives you 24 degrees of freedom. So that's how to calculate degrees of freedom when you are conducting a test for independence.